Bam, going live. Welcome to uh, tonight's stream, everybody. Pro Se Lawsuit School. I'm Coach Neighbors. Here, I provide the tools. You do the work. You do the work. That's kind of what the subject of tonight's situation is going to be about. You doing the work. So let's get started. Tonight, we're going to uh, we're going to cover you know the rules of admittance to my uh, my private coaching group and where we may talk a little bit about uh, about the eviction situation uh, to help Tiffany out before we get started on that you guys please take the time to subscribe um, and 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 make sure that you like my comments I have a lot of people looking but not very many people take the time to, uh, to hit that like button and that like button uh, lets YouTube know that you appreciate what I'm doing. So hit that like button and then ring the bell. When you ring that bell, you get a notification. When it's time to rock and roll, I'm going to have a live stream or when a video. Welcome to the show tonight, Jay. And there's Tiffany. Welcome, Miss Tiffany. John, later on, if you could just give us just a little... You know, just a quick two paragraph situa uh, situation going on with what you are are facing. Um, I didn't read all of what you sent me before. It was kind of long. If you could just cut it down and maybe we'll talk about that too because I don't think it's going to take me very long to get through, uh, through this subject. Welcome, Dave. So did you guys see that picture that was posted in in the notification that I was going to do the live stream tonight? Uh, that picture was taken at a, a fast food hamburger place. And whoever can email me uh, to my email address the name of the fast food hamburger place where that picture was taken, you're going to get some, something free, a little something, something free. And then when I post this as a video, I'm going to uh, I'm going to highlight and make a little video promotion for this uh, this hamburger place. The people that run this place uh, show up every day and, and kick butt. I was gonna say the other word, but I have to remember I got kids listening too. So <laughs> the first thing that I want to make clear is that the rules here are the rules that I make up. I change them, whatever, whatever, and I, I got that crap from the government. <laughs> Uh, no, so our program is still, we're still in the process of putting our program together. And the real feedback that I get from uh, the people in the group is what I use to, uh, to make the changes and do the things that, uh, lose your company today. Abre la luz, sitter la luz, abre la, okay, never mind. <laughs> it means the light, that is very true. We got a lot of new people here tonight. Welcome all you new people. Does anybody know where that, that, that sign that says we don't cut these um, that I put in, does anybody know where that, if you know where that sign is, you need to email me. Uh, and 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 let me know what restaurant that sign is in, and then if you're the number one person, then you're going to get something special. So, <laughs> ah, you always spend your mouth loose. Yep, 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 there you go. <laughs> okay, let's get rolling here. I learned all the bad words in Spanish first, so. <laughs> ah, there you go with that. I want to make it clear that I make the rules here, even if I have attitude while I'm making it. And, and so the thing that you need to understand is uh, one day I asked one of my coaches, one day my football coach was yelling at me a little more than normal. So after the practice, I asked him, why, 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 come on, dude, what? And he looked at me and he said, you know, neighbors, the time to worry is when I stop yelling. Hmm. 
oh, yeah, that was pretty profound. And then he went on to say that I was slacking, which I, I, I could I could have been, okay? Uh, but, you know, here's the thing. If I have an attitude with you, it's because you're saying all the wrong words. You're saying the words that people say that get the butt kicked. Now, it's not that many, but there's a few. And some of them figure it out after we kind of get into words or whatever, and, and 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 we'll go over some of those words here in a minute because I, I I I got them I got them right here in my head. I've been doing this for a minute, and when I hear these words, and I'm just I'm just gonna be honest with you, when I hear these words, it makes me wonder if my time should be better invested helping somebody else who's willing to do whatever it takes. Period. Not willing to do what it takes while you're getting your hand held or while someone's helping you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, period. And and this is why I get a little grumpy sometimes when people just call me out of the blue and start asking me stuff without following the protocol that I have set up. And people uh, don't think that, uh, you know, uh, okay, so I'm like, hmm, their time must be more valuable than mine. And, and I'm thinking, if they needed help saving their house or staying the hell out of jail, I'm thinking they would get in my program and follow the instructions and do what and do what it's proven that other people are doing that's working. Anybody that wants to know if my if there's any sign, dude, you don't have to, you don't have to go there. In my program, they're not they're not gonna they're gonna make you sign non <laughs> Uh, non disclosure statement when you get done beating them in the face. And, and that's, you know, that's pretty much how it goes. In my program, you are the one that makes this happen if you choose to or not. If you choose to or not. Now, if you get in the program, you've already decided that you need help from Nikki Ross or one of the other coaches in the group. I, I'm, you know. I don't, I don't hold people's hands. People have to do it themselves. And I'm pretty sure Nikki agrees with me <laughs> on this because she went through my program. What it comes down to, I'm just going to throw it on the table. What it comes down to is you taking the time to read the damn documents to learn what's in the, all you. I've already done the work. I've already done the work and put that, yeah. Oh, wait. People call me. Call me on the phone while I'm trying to do what I have planned to do that day. To ask me if I can send them the instructional video playlist because they can't find it. <laughs> no, go find the damn thing. This is a school. I'm not here to hold your hand, okay? Sorry if I'm on that wagon, that big B wagon. <laughs> now, the thing is, I make the decisions here on how this program operates based on the real-time feedback. And I'll tell you right now, I I haven't seen any negative reviews or anybody talking crap or trashing me. I mean, other than people that are <laughs> clearly attorneys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so I think that I have the best reviews of any legal business that I know. And at the end of the day, I don't even want to get into that. I make the decisions here uh, based on what I think I need to do to to make sure that I'm providing what I need to provide for the people who invest in this program, and and it's not easy. And I, I and some of the some of the, the titles are not totally clear. They don't say exactly the same thing. It wasn't that way by design. It was that way because the program changed as we grew, as I learned. I had to stop doing that. Stop doing this. We don't challenge jurisdiction anymore. We don't do none of the things that you have to do. Excuse me. We don't do none of the things that the judge has to rule on. And these things are reflected in updated instructional videos. Updated videos are the ones people need to watch. I have people message me, email me all the time. Hey, I don't have this thing in, in you know, you're watching an old video. You're watching old shit. Yeah, I'm just saying, you're watching an old video. We don't do that anymore. I have people, somebody emailed me just today to tell, let me know. Know that they don't think they got the documents in the package they need. No, I let them know. You've been watching the old videos, looking at the old crap, and you got the new crap, and you didn't look what's in the new crap, and you didn't study what's in the old crap, so you don't know what crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I get a little frustrated with that. If people invested in the package, they open they could open up the package and start looking at oh they look oh there's more than three documents oh my god oh yeah learn what you have now the new people that just in, uh, invested in the online course I'm going to hand it to you it's not very easy because the new video um, doesn't really match exactly how I have it outlined now in the in the zip in the zip file that you get. When it was on Teachable, before they um, before they got mad because uh, somebody got their teeth out of their office using my package, uh, my property tax package, 
before they got mad and re- uh, they they uh, I had everything on teachable.com I outlined it looked real nice. Well, then they uh, they terminated it. So I'm in the process of putting together another website to host my own online courses, but it takes me a long time to do this computer stuff. So what I did was I conv- I condensed that online course to contain the files that the 137 people that had signed up for the course over the whatever period of time had been using to beat these fools down with. And But I don't have an instructional video outlining exactly what, well, but the people who invest in the course, I'm calling you, I'm working with you, I'm telling you, this is what you gotta do first. Watch the instructional video, and then this is what you gotta do first. This is what you're doing. This is why we're doing it. But I got people telling me I still need the help of some other legal coaches and someone to hold my hand. I'm like, what the hell? I'm sorry. What do you think I'm doing right now? I'm trying to help you get started. Now, back to the reason why why, 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 we're, why we're doing this. I don't admit people in the group that need to have their hand held because those people are disruptive. They're not there for the same purpose that everyone else is there for. If you need to have your hand held, I'm going to suggest that you don't invest in my program. I, that, that's what I'm going to suggest because in the end, when you're talking to your clerk on the phone, when you're doing the video, whatever, bull crap, that whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah, you're not saying the right things to them because you don't know the right things to say. Say. Uh, they already figure out you don't know what the hell you're doing. So, Belinda, no, I said to email me to my email address. So now you just told everybody, and if they beat you, email me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, email me your answer to the email address. That way I can see when people's answer come in and and, and on the timeline to make sure that the person who came in first is the one that, that gets to win. So um, that's the other thing. You got to listen to the instructions. You need to email me to my email address, to my business that's showing on my website. And yeah, it's Wendy's. So I go to the Wendy's in Eudora, Kansas. Make their burgers fresh when you walk in. But if you're Coach Neighbors or you walk in and you ask them, Coach Neighbor said you need to make that fresh. <laughs> Put some extra stuff on it. Uh, yeah. Now, the other thing, too, that um, I, I don't deal I don't deal Oh, look at that. Thanks, Dave. I got a stu- super sticker. Sweet. Why don't you leave that up there for a minute? I love those. You guys can donate super stickers anytime. Uh, my dog likes to eat expensive stuff. <laughs> you know, frog legs and... Uh, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know how, how you do that, Jay. Maybe, maybe Dave can help you. There's some buttons down there you click on. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty, my, my brain's pretty full just doing my side over here. <laughs> hey, Gino, welcome to the show tonight. <laughs> uh, I had a contest. Um, the, the, the picture that I had for, uh, the notification I was going to have this stream had a, I had a sign in that said, we don't cut these. And then it showed the corners. We don't cut these and i was pretty impressed when i saw that i had to take that i'm going to use that a lot we don't cut those so stop looking for nicky ross stop looking for anybody else to hold your hand or whatever and start learning okay that's what you need to do i have already saved you a ton of time all you gotta do is spend the time reading what i got put together for you if you read the lot the package read look up what you don't understand that's what you need to be doing instead of trying to find somebody to, to help you because in the end if you don't know what's going on uh, and you know when you hire attorneys or paralegals that aspire to be attorneys they do everything from um, the attorney's perspective pretty much and throw you under the bus in the end so Gino's in the program too so oh and I don't deal with fear and I don't deal with drama so on the day you got something from the court or whatever you call me or email me or whatever uh, before you do your homework it's a waste of our time okay before you contact me uh, in Messenger on or in my Facebook coaching group, before you contact me, you've already you should have already researched what they what they what they've done or are trying to do, figured out why they're doing it and what they're planning to gain uh, from it and what your game plan is. So then I said, hey, you know, I threw my stuff out, said some mumbo jumbo about Rule 12b. I already know because I've done the research that what I bought from you is structured to state a claim. So I'm going to go after the judge for trying to help them. What do you think about that? Or you can call and say, what do I do? (laughs) 
Okay, no offense, but I do, or email me, I, I, I get that. And then the first thing I tell you is I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to help you learn these strategies so you can start figuring it out. Because at some point in time, they're going to be trying all kind of stuff. Stuff I haven't seen yet. But, you know, it's not too hard to figure out if they're pulling the wool over your face. Okay, so anytime they open their mouth, they're lying. Anytime a bar member moves their mouth, that's how you tell if they're lying. If their mouth's moving, they're lying. So there you go with that. So anytime the judge says something, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. People think that that's all, oh, and, oh dude, well, I'm thinking uh, mine's going to be, uh, my word is going to be the last one, okay? And people can, people can uh, attack the judges. Uh, I would strike the judge's order in a heartbeat. And I would strike the judge's order because there's no fact to find any conclusions of law. Without those two things, you have, you're an administrator of court mm -hmm. without a fact and well, how are you going to appeal you can't appeal if there's no fine facts of finding or conclusions of law it's all bs designed to run your ass out of time so they can throw your stuff in the yard yep, that's pretty much it uh, there's a link to my website my, my youtube channel and search for the instructional video playlist and watch the updated instructional videos where i teach you how to crush the state court process and then you also need to watch the instructional video for the lawsuit package that you invested in and you need to keep in mind that the updated videos are there's changes in in the process that aren't reflected in the original lawsuit packet. Now, I have over 700 people in, in my private coaching uh, group, and um, a, lot, a lot of those people are paralegals. A lot of them are people that are protecting their properties and property investors. And so I don't want people in that group who don't think that they can get stuff done. As a matter of fact, I'm a coach. So if you come to me and tell me I don't think I can do it, I'm scared, I need my hand held or whatever, whatever, I, I, I'm, I'm automatically thinking maybe this is not somewhere where I can, you know, that I should be waste, uh, spending my time or wasting my time. Now, maybe that's rude of me or whatever, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, the people that step up to the plate and are willing to do whatever it takes are the ones that I want to make sure that I'm there for. Okay, because those people don't require a bunch of arguing and back and forth and, and, and then and telling me uh, refusing to follow the rules and do the things that I'm telling them to do uh, because they don't want to bother me. Like there's nobody else that knows this like, like I do because it's my program. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, I don't get it. My goal is to help you guys get rolling for the people that are struggling and don't think they have the courage or whatever to do it. To help you get rolling so you can get in the group. But, you know, telling me you want to get in the group and that I didn't have any attitude when you signed on or whatever, whatever, it doesn't mean anything to me, okay? Because that just makes me think that I should have just gave you money back at the gate, okay? You will get in the group when you have earned it and I feel like you're going to help the group, okay? I don't want people in the group that's not helping the group because that that's why, why would I want people on my team that's not helping the team so you can't help the team if you come to the team looking for someone to hold your hand I'm just saying and I know some people don't like me some people think I talk too much I'm too forward or whatever whatever and I don't stinking care I mean it's like being a parent okay the number one job is to make sure that the goal get accomplished and, and so if you like me or not that's really it's really not you know, the, the number one thing is make sure you either stay out of prison or you stay in your house. That's the number one thing. Okay, and that's all That's all I, I care about. I don't deal with emotions very well. People that are emotional, I don't do it. I'm going to tell you to put, check that at the curb because that's not helping us here. And, and stop and think about it. If I wasn't emotional, oh, oh, dude, we'd never get, we would never get crap done. And that, that's not me. So if you expect a coach like that. <laughs> You're in the wrong place. And I try not to be disrespectful, but I'm going to speak my piece. I'm going to be the same person in the morning as I am at night. Well, not too early in the morning because I'm not, I'm not, not early in the morning. <laughs> I just try to keep it simple. You know, I tell them, look, these changes are what we're doing based off of the real-time feedback coming in from people from all across the country. The changes that come in are the changes that need to be made to, to the program. You, you don't you don't have to make the change <laughs> you can go in there and get your ass kicked if you want to okay so and, and that's uh that's how we go with that well tiffany so the way you have to stop the eviction process is you have to file a claim in state court you have to file your lawsuit actually in state court to stop the eviction process 
and then after you get, well, first off, you add the state, the judge, and you add the state to it because the state committed real estate defraud to get your to get your deed in their office. And the judge signed on to give your property away is the judge is being paid by the state. So there's an automatic conflict of interest at the gate. And the judge signed on without an injured party. So the judge don't have jurisdiction to do anything with your property. Uh, and that's why we sue the judge. And then you sue the attorney. The attorney who signed the notice of default letter or the attorney who signed the petition or claim against your house. The lender don't have nothing to do with it. You're wasting your time putting the lender on there and doing the, the servicer or whatever or whatever, whatever. You're, there ain't no servicer. It's an attorney acting as a third-party debt collector. An attorney's lying in court trying to make them think that they're working for the lender. But there's no contract. There's no agency. There's nothing to verify agency. So the attorney's working by himself. Oh, wait. Um, anybody that knows corporate shit will know that a corporation does a charge off at the end of whatever period of time, whatever, whatever, where they claim their alleged loss on their taxes and they write off the insurance. So they're paid twice. Oh, wait, three times plus what you, uh huh. And then they take your property back again. Well, they try. <laughs> oh, here, here's the thing there's no law that says you have to put your deed in their office. So they lied to you to to make you think that you had to re record it or register or whatever you want. And that registration or recordation of the deed is what allowed the first illegal lien to be put against the property. The first illegal lien was the mortgage lien. And the reason it was illegal, think about it like this. If there were several people who owned property before they could take out a lien uh, against that property, all the owners had to be present to sign, right? Yep. So the fact that the alleged lender accepted your signature on the stinking lien proves that you owned it already. And I smell stink. <laughs> uh, yeah. So when you go before the judge, are you kidding me right now? I'd be like, uh, judge, judge ship, ship. Sorry, sorry, I said, <laughs> I said the wrong word. I'd be like, Judge, uh, you're here to uphold the state statutes, right? Well, yes, I am. Well, great. Could you order these fools to deliver my deed to me as mandated in the state statute at section whatever, 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 whatever? Uh, yeah, so they registered it, and that allowed first the illegal lien to be put against my property. Judge, let me ask you a question. If your property, if your, if your property deed was not registered in their office, would they be able to verify there was a lien against your property? I don't know. <laughs> not that smart. If your deed was not in their office, could they verify that there was a mortgage lien against your property? I don't know how they would do that because they would have to ask, have access to uh, to your property information. So once you get your deed out of their office, um, then I would uh, let the lender know there's been a big mistake and that um, there was a, a false lien put on your property and you're going to need to have, um, have them verify. <laughs> You're going to need to have them verify the mortgage lien uh, and send you the documentation that uh, that you need to. Yeah, right. They don't. They put that shit in the bundle and they sold it off and, you know, and that stuff. You know, you all know what they do with that stuff. Um, they don't have the original. They don't have nothing. They don't have nothing. All their stuff is a bluff. Uh, well, it was until now. Because we call they, uh, we're calling their ass out on the table. So I have a lot of, uh, some folks come in the program and they want to tell me what uh, they need to be doing. Or they want to tell me they need help because they don't want to bother me. And uh, so, I mean, I, I'm being in. If you don't want to bother me, go watch stinking instructional, updated instructional videos. And the video for, the, you know. And, and when people come, when people message message me or communicate with me, I can tell the first thing I'm going to ask them. If you ask me a question that's covered in the instruction and video, that's the first thing I'm going to ask, did you watch the instruction and video? Man, maybe you might need to watch it again. Or you might need to watch it 12 times. <laughs> I don't care. I don't cut corners. I don't worry about if you're getting kicked out tomorrow. Now, with that said, if I know that we should, we'll be working or whatever on, but at the end of the day, no. At the end of the day, I don't cut because there's no corners to cut. You either do it so you're in a position. And the position that you want to be in is, uh, Tiffany, you file your lawsuit in state court, and then you get your lawsuit also filed in federal court. The federal filing is what's used to control the program. Now, here's how you do this. 
if you do this right, you put yourself in a position to, to force the federal judge to order uh, them fools to come to the settlement table because they're not going to be able to respond to the beatdown that you're going to do to them on the state court level. They're not going to respond to that. They can't. The judge has to recuse himself. There's nobody else to that, you know, if you were the judge, would you want to step in? And you're looking at that, it's easy to see that um, any new judge is going to get added to it for helping them. <laughs> uh -huh. No other judges want to get involved. So now you got a problem. And the attorneys, they're, uh, they can't litigate a case to the judge either. They can't litigate a case they're a party to. They can't represent each other. Uh huh. They have a problem. So when you go to federal court, you'd be like, dude, that's, yeah, we ain't going to call a federal judge. Judge, you call him dude, dude. <laughs> okay, maybe you might want to call him judge, dude. Dude, judge. Sissy, judge. Okay, never mind. We need, I'm, I'm getting. <laughs> I need to stay focused. I be telling them, Judge, are you kidding me right now? You need to order them fools to the settlement table because they did not, could not, and cannot respond to the state court beatdown that they went through. So they have no standing to say crap in, in federal court. So there you go. And yeah, you can make your own motion. Uh huh. My motion for a dude, Judge Dude. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got it. Uh, well, no. No. I would have sued her ass. I mean, sued her butt first, uh, Denise. See, look, when the judge when the judge violates you, you can appeal. Oh, wait. Um, that's useless because we already talked about there's no facts of finding or conclusions of law, so appeal is totally worthless. Okay, so what do you do? You, uh, yeah, well, move their, move their butt over with the, in the... <laughs> the defendant list. That's what you have to do when a judge throws you under the bus in their administrative court. You need to do something about it. So what I would do is when the federal judge tries to help them and 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 and, and denies uh, fire that you're going to be that you that you're going to stick in the, in their face when you're demanding that the federal judge force them to the settlement table. When the federal judge denies that or ignores you or whatever. Uh, now it's time to see the federal judge. Oh, it's getting hot in the kitchen now. <laughs> uh, time to see the federal judge for helping them. And see, they're, they're not used to this because they're, they're used to everybody getting an attorney, right? <laughs> we have a lot of power. You have a lot of power. Yeah, I just need to learn how to use it. And some people need to have the courage to use it. People don't understand. When you add the judge to your, to your, uh, to your counterclaim or to your lawsuit, and you add the attorney, you can also add the attorney's property, not the judge's. You don't want to be messing with the judge's stuff like that because that could get real ugly for you, thanks to the prisoners. But we've done it before uh, working with one of my friends. I can't say her name. <laughs> oh, wait, I can say, oh, well, sister is not her name. Well, no, I can't talk about my sister. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but so here's the thing. What we did was we added the attorney's property to the counterclaim because it was in uh, it was in judicial, so we had a lot of time. So we just added the attorney's property to the counterclaim, and when we did that, we had to look uh, uh, up the property to see who uh, who owned it. And it turns out the attorney's wife well, was a signer on the property as well. So we added the attorney's wife on the property and. <laughs> and we served her the counterclaim. Uh, I think that was the first time anybody got, <laughs> got served the counterclaim. Uh, hey, Porter. And I will tell you, they were really freaking pissed. I mean pissed. But anyway, so that's the power you have. You got way more power. You can add the stinking, you can sue the attorney for the corporate charter for their business. Or? What the hell? State. So you stay for their corporate charter. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you are uh, if you are a, par a party of the corporate charter, then you have uh, you can sit on the board of directors and you can have some say in their policies and procedures. Um, oh no, we're not going to be doing that because my people wouldn't like that. <laughs> we're we're going to do that free. You got need to and you need to do the uh, yeah. No, they wouldn't. Oh, that would that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> No, no, not put the attorney's address as a defendant. You're going to add the attorney's property to your lawsuit and the attorney's assets to your lawsuit as damages in addition to the $5.5 million. 
<laughs> yeah, and let the attorney see what it feels like to, uh, yeah. So in my sister's case, I mean, in the case that I'm talking about, the Bar Association was also added. The Bar Association was added. The attorney was added. The attorney's wife was, oh, all this. We added all of these people to the attorney's um, judicial foreclosure process. Yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we learned a lot uh, uh, doing that because that person let me do whatever I wanted. <laughs> yeah, you add their property as damages, but you got to look up and see who owns it because you need to sue all of them, all the donors. So whoever's name is on it, you need to add to your counterclaim or to your state lawsuit and your federal lawsuit or whatever, whatever, whatever. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't, uh, you can add the title company if you want to. Uh, be letting the city. This is the thing. Um, the people that I'm telling you to add are the people that 700 people in my group are adding and doing. So, I don't really discuss all this other stuff because that's not what we do. So, I'm just saying. You got to stick with the program. The more people you add, the more complicated it becomes. And, and the more opportunity they have to jam your ass up. You just miss one, one respond day, one day, whatever, and the boy, yeah, they'll be working you up and down. And the thing is, you can always add people later if you need to. You don't really need to. You got the people who signed. That's all you need. That's all I would be using. The less people... The more of a problem it's going to be for them. The more people, the more a problem is going to be for you. And so we teach you, and you can watch the uh, the last um, eviction video. We go over that process of how to stop the eviction court process. And you have to do that by adding the players that are doing this and suing them in, in on the state court level, uh, filing it on the state court level. You're not doing it to litigate it on state court level because you already figured out that everything on state court is BS. Okay, but you need to do that to tie their hands so they can't move forward without another judge. Their, their ship is floating around in adamantly jurisdiction uh, without a motor. So you need to smash the state court process and move forward. I don't want to hear what they argued or none of that crap because it's all bullshit. I'm just telling you. So uh, don't post that in my thing. <laughs> Um, your case was already an administrative court. That's the only court you have access to, Denise. So I'm just saying, unless there's something I don't know. <laughs> oh, if you ain't ready to fight, don't get in my ring. I, I'm, I'm serious because we're going to have problems. And I take it personal. I take it personally. You get your butt kicked using my stuff. I take it personal. So, and there's the few people that have uh, been on that end of the stick. Uh, found out that I, I do take it personal. So, especially when they got their ass kicked because they sat on their butt and didn't go watch the damn instructing videos or do what the hell a coach told them they need to be doing in the first place. Now, my time's very valuable, and I'm not going to use it for folks who've already decided that they, they, that they can't do it. I'm not going to waste my time with people who have already decided that they can't do it. Now, I'm not mentioning any names, so if that was you, then I'm talking to you. If it wasn't you, then I'm not talking to you. And if it was you, I'm talking to you. You can be grumpy with me, whatever, if you want to. My goal is not to win a contest of a bunch of friends or whatever. My goal is to help get the job done. And that's how I roll. And sometimes I get a little rough if your asses aren't getting it done. You don't like that? You can tell me. I got it, coach. Stand down. I've only been told that twice. And both of those people call me a few weeks later because their stuff's getting thrown out in the yard. Now, I don't know what the hell they expect. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know what the hell they expect me to do. And of course, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't get any pleasure out of it because I already knew what was going to happen to them. These are the people that trust their attorneys and their attorney friends and all of the people in the system. And they don't see uh, the light. I lay telling one day, oh, being in your program is like being in the dark. Ah, oh, no, I don't think so. I totally disagree with that. Being in my program is not like being in the dark because in my program, at least you know who's trying to take your shit. You know it's the attorney who signed that document to start this problem, problem that you have. You know it's the judge who's getting paid by the state who already has your deed and need to get your butt off their property. You, are, you already know that. So people think they're in the dark. No, the light's been turned on. What the hell are you going to do about it now? You're going to pick up the ball and run? Or you're going to sit around and wait for someone to hold your hand? So... So you guys probably found out that I, I am not that good with 
do it this ho- hand holding. Ah, <laughs> uh, you want to make sure that you're in a position to order their federal judge to make them fools go to the settlement table, because the fact that they did could not respond on the state level, they have no standing to say anything uh, on on. on the, you know, on the, on the federal court level. Now, no one can speak for you. Nikki Ross can't speak for you in court or in a hearing. No one can speak for you. And this is why it's important for you to learn to program yourself so you can speak for yourself. Please do not invest in my program if you've already decided that, that you need your handheld or you can't do it or whatever. You have to do this yourself to get in the eviction process stopped. Um, it is something that you have to follow the steps and you have to make sure you have the right people on there. And you have to get this stuff. Oh, the other thing that you guys should be doing too, especially if you're facing an eviction process, is filing a less penis lien against your property. Now, in most states, you have to have a certified copy of the title dispute, which is just your lawsuit. And so it'd be interesting um, to it'd be interesting to do that with the state court. A lawsuit that you filed. <laughs> Oh, that would be a big problem. Uh, yeah, and in some places, they try to make it so you can't file, uh, you can't place a lien uh, against your property, a uh, less pendants lien against your property without the judge uh, agreeing to it or whatever. And if they told me that, I'd, I'd ask them what judge, what judge it is, and and then uh, write up a notice of claim. I mean, the judge should have nothing to do with whether or not your she stays in their office. So if you guys uh, invest in my program, the instructions are to friend me on Facebook and 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 provide me uh, send a request to get in foreclosure rescue private page. Uh, send me a request to get in the page, and in that request, you need to put your uh, order number from processing. Now, if we've already spoken, and I know you are or whatever, then it's not that big a deal. If you make a new profile with the avatar, picture, and different name, whatever, then you're going to need to tell me who you are or I'm not going to let, <clears throat> let you in if I don't know who you are. So that's how that goes. Yep, if their lips are moving, they're lying. Well, thank you, uh, Belinda. Some people get mad when I start being silly or whatever or whatever, and I'm like, I don't care. Maybe they should try making 500 videos and try to make it interesting or whatever, not just for you guys, for my damn self. You know, I could just be like, <laughs> Uh, nobody's going to remember none of that. Besides, uh, you know, my personality's weird. And I'm thinking it's a good fit for what I'm doing because I'm very good at this. And I'm very good at coaching people. And I'm very good at letting people know if they're screwing up, they need to get their ass in gear. So, or, or that there's no hand held, there's no hand holding. There's no hand holding over here. <laughs> oh. Um, so, you know, and so some people think uh, because I act silly or make jokes or whatever that I don't take it serious. And those are the people I haven't read my shit. So I'm just saying because if you read my shit, you can see uh, there, there ain't no need to run around uh, being crazy, doing all this shit. Work, you know, there ain't no need for that. All you need to do is follow the damn instructions. Follow the damn instructions. And if you invested in an online course, the very first thing I'd probably be following in their faces is, is that uh, – Demand to strike uh, the attorney's notice of appearance. <laughs> uh, yeah, the online course has some pretty badass documents in it. Oh, we went over our time frame a little bit here. So I'm going to thank you guys for the value of sharing your time. Uh, if you guys have these problems that, that you need my help with, you need to head over to the website. Uh, review the descriptions of the uh, products and then swing over to the YouTube channel and review the updated instructional videos and instructional video for that package. And then if you have any uh, any other questions, then don't call me. 
Uh, friend me on Facebook, and that's where I do my coaching on Facebook, not on my phone. Uh, my, my, my hands are, are way too big to be trying to text people stuff on my phone. So that, that's, that's how, how that rose. So I will see you guys in the next video. Stay in the ring and keep punching.